If you are an East Greenbush or Skodak resident, you have home access to a fantastic tool for finding your next book, Novelist. If you're not a resident, that's okay. You can use this service on any device connected to our library's network. Just tell Novelist what you generally like in a book or enter a title or author you liked in the past to get a list of suggested books. Novelist will even link to our catalog for any items that we own. To get started, go to https bit.ly slash capital E capital G novelist. If you are at the library, Novelist will load right away. If you're accessing it from home, you need to enter your library card. Once you've entered your library card number, you can click on sign in. This is the Novelist homepage. Here at the top of the page, you can see a search box. This is the best tool to use if you're looking for a specific author or title or you know exactly what you're looking for. If you click on the drop down box, here you can search by keyword, title, author, series, or narrator. If you wanted a more advanced search, which is completely optional, you would click on Advanced Search, and you can choose the different subjects that you'd like to search for. So for, for instance, if you wanted to put an author and a genre, say you wanted to find Nora Roberts and all of her romance novels rather than her um, other novels, you would search in Nora Roberts and romance in that category. Now if we go back to the home page, if you're not sure what you're looking for, you just wanted to browse, um, here the top, at the, the tab at the top here, you have fiction and nonfiction. You can see right under fiction and nonfiction, you have ages, so you can go from adult, teen, 9 to 12, or 0 to 8, as well as a large amount of different genres that you can browse through. So say that you were looking for a mystery. You can click on mysteries and within that specific category, they have different ones. So say we wanted a historical mystery. So if we were to click on that, here this brings up all the different historical mysteries. And also on the side, they give you additional lists with the other different types of mysteries as well. If you do a specific search by an author, so say we go up on top and we put an author, say that once again, we're looking for Nora Roberts. You'll get a suggestion there. See how she popped up down here? Once you start typing, it gives you different suggestions of what you might be looking for. So here we get a description of who, a little bit about the author, her different genres, and um, the main types of storylines that she writes, and a general tone. Here are, you see her works, including the books, the audiobooks series, and more about her. And on the right side, you see the similar authors to her. If you wanted to search for a specific book, so let's say one, one that you really enjoyed, say we're going to enter Gone Girl. It also gives you title suggestions just like the author did. So once your title, they give you all the, the, they give you all the titles with that specific phrase that you searched for. So let's, let's click on the one that we were looking for. And here you can, if you scroll down a little bit, it gives you a description, tells you the genre, the themes, um, what the characters are like, how fast the pace is. Uh, it gives you, there's a tab for reviews, so that will tell you what these um, specific publications thought of the book. And there's also an audio book, more about the book, and listen articles with the book. On the right hand side, you can see read alikes. These are books that are similar to that specific title. And it also, here you see view copies. That will tell you if our library um, system has um, that specific title in our catalog. Keep in mind that specific books are compared, not the authors. You may find additional read alikes if you search for both the author and the title. The title read alike pages include links to our catalog for easy requesting. That's what this button does here. Another neat thing with the read alikes on the side, the similar titles, if you put your mouse over a particular title, it gives you a short description and a reason why that it's similar. And if you want to find more information about any of the read alike titles, um, you can just click on that title and it will bring you to a page like this uh, with more information about that particular title. If you scroll down a little bit from the home page, this is the next section. The next section provides lists generated based on appeal factors. This is a set of descriptors that Novelist has created to describe the mood, tone, pacing, setting, character type, and storyline. So here you see they have strong sense of place, fast, paced, and heartwarming. Now if you don't like any of these, you can try your own combo. So if we click on the appeal mixer, 
and we can select the different categories. So if we want a character that is awkward and a pace that is fast and a tone that is funny, and we click on Find Titles, and you can also do it by age group at the top. So here you have the adult is selected, but you can also choose teen, 9 to 12, or the younger set, 0 to 8. So in our search, it came up with these specific titles that fit with our appeal mix. Within the different appeal mixes, there's even a category for illustrations. So this is for like um, picture books or graphic novels. You can choose what type of illustrations you'd like as well. If you see on the left-hand side, you have a whole bunch of different genres, including um, Canadian fiction, literary fiction, romance, summer scares. These will change um, throughout the year, depending on the season. Uh, for instance, right now, since it's getting to our summer reading, we see our Oceans of Possibilities summer reading theme. At the bottom of the page, there is a featured award winner. So here you see this featured award winner is um, for this, the love songs of W.E. Dubois. And you have a featured audiobook as well. And right above the award winners and the featured audiobooks, we have these pages that you can explore. You have authors, book club resources, books in the media, diversity resources, genres. And if you click these navigation arrows, there's even more. So we have themes over here as well. So if we were to click on genres, here you can see different ways that you can explore genres. They have feature genre guides, um, different elements you can choose to search with, and things like that. The third way to browse is at the top of the page in the orange menu bar. So you can click browse by or quick links and pick an index. So browse by, we have the different um, themes or award winners, audiobooks, and quick links gives you articles. So you can explore pages and genre guides, things like that. Also in the menu is the help section. So if you're having trouble with what you're doing, um, you can click on help over here or how do I, um, it gives you some frequently used things. They tell you how to do those things. You can use all of these features without an individual account, but setting up a personal account in Novelist Plus allows you to save search results, searches, persistent links to searches, and search alerts in a personal folder for future access. To create an account, what you wanna do is go up to the top in the menu bar and click on sign in. If you don't have an account, you can click on sign up right here and you can either enter your information or you can sign in with your Google account. And once you've created your account, you can sign in in the same spot on future visits to access this folder. For more information on saving and sharing search results using folders, you can open that help section that we talked about before. And if you scroll down to the close to the bottom, uh, My Novelist, you can click on Using Folders and that will give you an overview um, about how to use the folders. If you don't have 24-7 access to a librarian, Access to Novelist is the next best way to find your next read. If you'd like to receive email newsletters based on your interests, check out our companion service called Next Reads. Go to eglibrary.org slash adults slash next reads. Once you're there, scroll down and you can see our featured newsletters as well as ones categorized with fiction and nonfiction. There are also ones for teens and kids and the different types of media. You can simply enter your name and email address and click on subscribe.